Hi, I'm here to show you how I mount my dashboard mounted video camera in some of those YouTube videos you've come to know and love. Uh, may help you if you're looking for a mount. I'm not sure if this particular one is still available, but at least to give you some ideas and tell you how I do it, and uh, you can do it yourself. And we can all post our exciting videos on YouTube. Okay, so this is the mount itself. It's got a couple pieces on here. It's got a couple universal joint type pieces that you can turn and twist wherever you want. It's got the su suction cup base that sticks on the windshield in my case, or it could stick on, I've stuck it on the outside of my car, I've stuck it on a win window before on the outside. Um, definitely recommend if you're going to stick anything to the outside of your car with a suction cup that you have uh, a strap or something to make sure that, uh, if something does get loose it won't be dragging all over the ground. Uh, so I'll show you how I put it on the dashboard right now. Okay, welcome to the inside of my car. Now, I notice this is not a Crown Victoria, but the great thing about a mount like this is it'll work in any car, whether it's uh, any car that's got a windshield, basically it'll work in. So you can move from car to car, you don't have to worry about having one that's adapted specifically for a certain type of vehicle. This is the camera I use here. It's just a basic consumer, you know, Panasonic. So this is how I mount the camera. Again, I have two of these articulated pieces, as well as the, um, you know, the base. I found that I tried it with just um, the one. You really need all three of these. In this case, you need about this much length to get it turned around so it'll, it'll look out the front of the car like you want it to. So I'm just going to screw this onto the bottom here. You're going to take the lens cover off. I'm not going to worry about that right now. I loosen these all up, at least these two, and even this one. And I mount the camera wherever I want it to go. Let's say I'll put this over a little farther to keep it out of my way. Again, loosening all these. And like I said, they turn around about any direction you want. And then now it's just a matter of tightening down, you know, putting the camera in the position you want, tightening it down, make sure everything's stuck on there. Of course it's not. Tightening the camera. I open up the, the screen and uh, I'll turn it on, make sure it's level, which direction I want it to be facing. It always pretty much sits on the dashboard too, so I actually have a couple different places for it to, uh, to, to sit. I'm going to do this again from this side of the car so you can see what it looks like um, from over there. It's a little bit better view for you. Um, actually, you're just going to loosen everything. You know, pick an orientation up, down. It doesn't seem to matter which way the triangle goes on there. Stick it on the window. Aim the camera in the direction I want to go. You know, I'll first, I usually tighten it up first um, without the camera on because this takes a little bit of time. And then uh, when I do the final adjustments, you know, I'll turn the camera on, then uh, loosen the, uh, the screws here, tighten it up, make sure it's aimed where I want, make sure it's resting on the dashboard, you know, fairly securely, and aim down, down range, just like that. Hope that helps.